hello everyone, I'm your lovely host Innocent and welcome to today's video. Today's video is definitely different as you can see this is definitely not a game. This is actually how to make a game. Which comes to the point I wanted to make, which is that I am actually in the process of making my own game. It is going to be a visual, visual novel type game, or at least that's how it's going to run. So I've been looking around at different ways to make visual novels. And if most of you have been here or have seen anything from me, you guys know I'm an artist. That's perfect when making a visual novel since it's all art basically, but the downside is I only know very basic coding. So software like Renpy or Renpy or however you want to pronounce it is okay, but it's really confusing to someone who doesn't know coding. I've seen things like, I believe it's Cloud9. I think that's the software name go around. And that's a very basic and simple uh, visual novel creator, but it doesn't have the things that I would want for my visual novels. So I've been looking around and I found the end maker or visual novel maker. They're the same people who made um, RPG maker. So their things are pretty good. And I believe, actually, I'm going to look this up right now because I know me. Um, let's see. This software is $59.99, which for a software that makes games and you get the license to actually sell them and do stuff like that, it's pretty good. And I was lucky enough to have the developers send me this software and I am so very grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Because I was looking everywhere and this just kind of popped up and I was just like, oh, this is interesting. I want to know more. So today we're going to learn together what is VN Maker. It came out last November, November of 2017. So it's pretty new. There's still bugs here and there. And I've watched a few other videos on YouTube to try and figure out the basics of the interface and everything before I jump right into it because I know me. So I've been doing that for the past two hours, just kind of researching what it is. So we're going to make a new project and let's just make this a demo based something or another. It'll create the project. It usually takes a while on the first time I've noticed with other people's videos. So just be aware of that if you're getting into it as well. Oh, and while this is doing its thing, there are DLCs for the game. One that gives you, um, I think they're sprites, two volumes of sprites and like a massive volume of different sprites from females to males and all different outfits. There's um, music that you can get. There is a magical school type music DLC as well. And also you can get a subscription to Live 2D, which will make your characters animate and move and all do that all kind of stuff. And I'm actually going to probably invest into that because I really like Live 2D. And if I want to make this thing like how I want to make it, I kind of want that, especially since I have, um, what is it called? Cubics? Cubis? Cubism. God, I'm smart. So I can definitely animate them a little bit better than I would want to otherwise because I hate animating regularly. So this is the basic thing that you get when coming up with everything and it's all that type of stuff. So if you click anywhere on the thing you can see what happens and messages. Yay. Cool. And you can click through them and that's the prompts. And it, I believe they just co go in order. So, so the background comes in, this person joins the scene, they show the message box, the message settings change. Then it goes, hey, cool. Then the thingy pops up. So who are you? Type in your name. Cool. And then hi, whoever the fuck you is. <laughs> so call common to whatever this. Oh, that is the you you type in whatever and blah 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 and there's show choices. So yeah. 
exit scene, they go away, change background to this, do the thing. The end. Ta-da! And there's a bunch of different things you can do. You have commands, which you can go through and click all of them. The, the basic, the list, the movie, the scene, blah, 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 blah. You click on things and you find out how things happen. Now, I'm going to see what I can do to make a little demo for everybody. And I will basically... Ah, uh, I'll just come back to you guys here and there with little snippets of what I've learned and what I'm doing to see <laughs> how I'm doing because, oh boy, this is weird. But I'm going to base it off of this one and I'm going to have my avatar, Innocent, play uh, the role of whatever the uh, hell her name is because I don't want to draw anything right now except I did draw... I'm in the process of drawing most of the background scenes for my visual novel. I'll use one of the ones that I've made so far. It's, I'll use the flat color one because I'm lazy and I don't want to show everything that I'm doing for this just yet. So I'll get to that and I'll come back to you guys real soon. Okay, so I don't, I can't figure out how to get Innocent in here in particular. I have a file for her, which, oh, you guys can't see it. Whoops, a daisy. Huh. I don't want to do this, but I guess I'm going to do this. Boop. Okay, so I have a file for her. I have some characters in there, whatever. So... Oh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. But that's fine. We're just going to do it without innocent for right now. So don't mind that. We're just gonna make it with somebody else. Cause yeah. got something <laughs> something being the key word here so I didn't really mess with the title screen or anything like that because eh. okay I should probably say first anyway let's play it together shall we I haven't added music or anything like that anyway so oh lovely loading times Okay, 
So, English, please. New game. Yo, what's your name? My name is... Can I, can I actually... Just, no, I can't. <laughs> okay. Innocent. There we go. That's my name. I know how to spell my name. Ta-da. Really? Well, if you say so, Innocent. Oh, before we continue, how old are you? Me, I'm 21. 21? Ugh. Anyway. How has your day been? Eh, pretty okay. That's good. Bye. That's a wrap. Ta-da. <laughs> it's really simple, actually. Some things confused me because I didn't realize that there was a clicky button right here. You probably saw that because... I've been recording this whole time, and you're just like, in innocent, innocent. Jesus, do the thing, lady. Do the thing. But all in all, this is actually pretty simplistic. But also, since you have access to all of the scripts and all of the coding as well, it can get really complicated if you want it to be. So, with that being said, I would recommend this to anybody who can't afford it and is wanting to make a game that doesn't know coding because all it really takes is just some finagling and probably reading the manual and beginner guide would help, which I didn't do because I'm a stupid, but I learn better by, oop. I don't mean to do that, but reading that would make your experience a hell of a lot better but i'm a stupid and i learn better with hands-on experience so yeah, that's what we got here also do you like my first work into like backgrounding that's cool isn't it <laughs> and i'm sad that i couldn't get innocent to join in but something's going on i'm not entirely sure right now but whatever it's probably that i don't have the same exact size and I work in giant size, so it's probably freaking out. <laughs> That's my guess, but eh. What are you gonna do? Anyway. Yeah, this this program is definitely worth the money. And I'm probably going to buy some of the DLC for it. Probably not the music, because I don't think I need that type of thing. I might regret that later, but yeah, we'll see how it is. Especially for my first project that I'm working on. I don't think I need it. At least, I don't, I don't know. I have what I have in mind. And it's not really matching with what I heard from them. So, that's a little bit of a story. Either way, um, this is definitely interesting. I'm not going to show, like, give a download link to the game I just made. Because there's two choices in it. And it's not really a game. So... There's that, and uh, <laughs> I don't really know what else I can do here right now because I've spent like the last hour finagling with this, and I don't, I don't, I just don't, <laughs> I just don't, because in all realities, I'm lazy, and I didn't want to do this in particular tonight, but. I also didn't expect to be given the copy of this game, or program. I'm so used to <laughs> saying game. Either way, I have a speed paint coming soon, and I also have a new series that is coming soon because of voice work that I'm doing. Isn't that cool? Or creepy? I don't know. It could be a mix of either. By the way, thank you once again to the people behind Visual Novel Maker for sending me this. I am so very appreciative, and I hope that this was somewhat entertaining, or at least entertaining enough that you got to see me struggle with trying to learn something new, and <laughs> seeing me go through the motions of something that's actually very simple, but because I'm stupid, I made it very hard. <laughs> Uh, when I get closer to actually having a demo for the game that I want to make done, I will announce it again. And it's more than likely going to be made with this, maybe with a little help of somebody else for coding, because I want some, I want some things in this game that I don't know if I can do 
by myself. So, <laughs> if you know anybody that does coding, let me know. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a wonderful time, even though this was definitely a weird video. I don't know what I'm doing, but I wanted to show this to you because they were so generous enough to send me this and I, I needed to repay them in some way. So all I know how to do is make videos on it and promote it. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, I sound so stupid. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. But this is really a wonderful program. If they hadn't sent it to me, I would have bought it most definitely because I was looking into it. So thank you once again. I'm going to thank you guys forever. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone for watching this video and making it this far in it. <laughs> I'm sorry that I am me. But regardless, thanks for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time and I hope to see you all so very soon. Peace out. Bye-bye.